Watches and Wonders 2024. We're at the Moser booth with Edouard Melin, uh, CEO of Moser. Frank, good morning. Good morning. Nice to uh, to start the day with you, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, the two novelties of the brand. Yeah. There's of course Streamliner Skeleton. I love it already. Yeah. So I can you tell us a bit about that watch? Uh, well, the Streamliner collection that we introduced 2020 that is really contributed to the fast growing mm -hmm. uh, pace of Moser in the last few years. And as you noticed, probably two years ago, we started working in the third dimension with the with the skeleton, which exactly. was an evolution of this partnership with this with uh, MBNF in 2020 also. So yeah. now we bring the Streamliner and the first skeleton together in something that is quite compact. It's 40 millimeter, uh, mm -hmm. 120 meter water resistant, um, very nice skeleton. Um, we spend a lot of time on creating something that really has depths, three dimensions, mm -hmm. symmetry, very important to me. Um, and I think the result is, is quite, it's quite something special for Moser. Very modern, but respecting the tradition of, of what a skeleton should be. If you look at the finishing, anthracite, with the rose gold, mm -hmm. I think it, 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 it brings something special. And it's a very nice addition to the entire Streamliner uh, lineup. Yeah, I think we, we start to have something quite broad with the with the Streamliner. We started with the Chrono. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's a sport collection. Exactly. So the Chrono with the Agen Graph, which has been evolving. Now we have the Center Second, bringing some new colors. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a surprise for later in the year. We have the Small Second, also I think one of your favorite as yes, well. Yes, absolutely. With the enamel dial and the Micro Rotor. We have the tourbillon, we have the perpetual calendar, so it's becoming really a, a, a full collection now. Exactly. It's very, a lot of maturity in, after and, four years. And so already. much choice as well, you know, in the entire collection. Yes, but not too much. I mean, we have, yes, we have a lot of different movements, a lot of different calibers in the Streamliner, mm -hmm. but very limited number of colors. So typically for Moser, one collection, one movement, one color. There might be exceptions, but that's the, that's the way that's we usually That's going to be a work. surprise. That's going to be the next surprise. Okay, I'm curious. But talking about colors, there's something limey. Um, lime green? Citrus. A oh, citrus, citrus green. Citrus, Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Lime exists already. We actually see it here. Uh, yeah. That's the enameled uh, green. But here we wanted something even more fresh. The story of that watch is it's the way we work sometimes at Moser. November last year, we did the seminar where we took the entire team, present the novelties for 2024. And we had the plan for the Pioneer Collection, which is like our you know, nice uh, everyday watch. And one of the watches we had in 42.8 uh, was a funky blue index kind mm -hmm. of watch, which is typical what Moser would do. Yeah. And then I come, up, I come back of the seminar and I'm sitting with my brother and I was like, it's a nice watch, but it's what everybody expects. And we need to continue to bring surprise. We, need, we, we love to bring new collectors to independent watchmaking. We, I think Moser is kind of an entry door to independent mm -hmm. watchmaking. We have an amazing entry level, we have amazing movements. And then we thought it's the first time we're going to introduce the 201, which is the new center second movement with new finishing, more skeletonized. We need something striking. Mm -hmm. And then we started playing on, on Photoshop and I can show you it on, uh, on my phone because I basically like took videos of me on the, on like playing with colors, removing things. And then suddenly the, the citrus green came out. We wanted something fresh, something different, polarizing. You love it or hate it, but mm -hmm. that's what's important for us at Moser. We don't need to please everybody. We want things that you cannot compare with, and uh, the Citrus is a good example. So we bring Superluminova on the rim. So you have this white rim in Superluminova. Mm -hmm. You have this bright green, yellowish uh, color. That's why we call it the Citrus. We always like to have a, a funky name for any colors mm -hmm. we, we create. On a blue strap, it works very well on a white strap, and also on a, on a steel bracelet. Yeah, it's a fun watch. It looks fun. It looks Not fun. very monochrome. But still very fun. Uh, it's definitely not. Modern, <laughs> yeah. Maybe if you use a fi filter and then put it in. We can always do that. In gray and <laughs> black and white. But let's, uh, otherwise let's shine it. Uh, let yeah, it's shine. more yeah. like of a summer, like, I don't know, you, you're wearing like your bathing suit. It has a very suit funky a vibe. I didn't expect to, to actually like it. I yeah. had it on my wrist. It was fun. We didn't expect anything. We just wanted something fun. It's, it's again, Moser, I think we have a clear guideline uh, of where we want to go. I think people read, and that's something I'm pretty proud of, is people recognize a Moser for the codes that we have created. Mm -hmm. and that's why we don't even have a logo on the, on the dial anymore. And I think that's something that we achieve. It is. So it's nice sometimes to go a little bit outside our boundaries, explore new territories, and that might help the brand evolve in the future. I mean, you say, oh, you have a clear guideline. Yeah, but the guideline might evolve. And that's why we try things. It's also, you know, that you have your own movement manufacturer, that you have that much liberty in, in creating the watches as you want. Well, that and the, and the second is we, we basically make watches we like. I mean, we are the typical customer of, 
of Moser, so we're having fun and things we say, oh, next summer, what do we want to wear when we go uh, mm -hmm. to the beach or something? And uh, I think that gives us a lot of flexibility. Yeah, yeah you put yourself also in the position of, of a collector, of a watch enthusiast. Well, you we are, are a watch enthusiast, yeah. so yeah, yeah that's, that's a very that's healthy position. And the, as you said, ha having the full manufacturer behind it with the engineers and the capacity to develop yeah. helps, obviously, tremendously. Awesome. Thank you so much. Frank, pleasure. Thank you very much.